Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Serena B here and welcome if you're new. Today I have an exciting collaboration video and project to share with you all. Well, first of all, happy Beetlejuice Beetlejuice release day. I am just over the moon. I cannot believe the date is finally here. By the time this video gets posted on Friday, I would have watched the movie the day before. And I am so excited. We decided to go all out and do something special to celebrate the release of Beetlejuice Beetlejuice because it's my favorite movie and ever since I was a kid growing up and um, I just never thought this day would come. So I just wanted to do something a little bit more special instead of going to a regular theater um, to watch it. So I'm really excited for that. But anyways, let's get into today's video. As you can see here, I made a bike flip. My friend Kelly and I, who is Doodles and Diaries on Instagram, we decided to come together and do a Beetlejuice collab. Um, I got Lydia and she got Beetlejuice, so you want to definitely check out her Instagram because there are giveaways involved, so definitely check her out because she's going to be giving away her project and I'll be giving away this project on Instagram. So you definitely want to go follow us there and check out our posts. I decided I'd like to make a video and show you all what I made and kind of do a little talk through of my project. But I decided I am going to be giving away my Beetleween collection to my YouTube viewers. So you have two chances to win two separate giveaways from me. You can win this project right here on Instagram and you can also enter on this YouTube video, leave a comment below and you can enter to win my Beetleween collection, the full collection, including the bonus mini kit. If you want to see it for yourself, well, there's a sneak peek right here of what I used. But if you want to see the full collection, you can go on my website, serenab.com. I'll have it linked below and you can check out my shop and you'll see my Beetleween collection there as well as my other Halloween collections as well. So I decided to do a YouTube giveaway as well because in my last giveaway someone mentioned or a few people mentioned that they didn't have Instagram and I want to give everybody a chance to win at least something because Beetlejuice is awesome so why not you know celebrate all together <laughs> so um, all you have to do to enter the YouTube giveaway which again is the Beetleween collection all you have to do to enter is leave a comment below and let me know you want to enter the giveaway and be a subscriber to my channel and um, if you're interested in winning this, you can follow the rules on Instagram. All the information will be on the Instagram post that uh, coordinate with this project. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. I decided to make a uh, loaded bag because I haven't done one in a really long time. I knew I wanted to add extra goodies and stuff, so I thought this would be a fun way to do that. So um, this is what it looks like all completed. That's the back, I'll show you a bit more of it later. So yeah, I guess let's just get started. So in the front, I backed up my ghost pattern paper from Beetleween. Every paper and embellishment is from Beetleween, <laughs> just to let you know. And um, so I backed up the ghost paper in the background. I This is a you know a journaling card that I backed on black cardstock. Um, I added some washi from my stash, some gems, and this ghost is obviously from Beetleween as well. And then I colored up Lydia using my Tombow Erogen colored pencils as well as the regular colored pencils. And it's funny because I have them in my Beetlejuice cup, so it's all on theme. <laughs> Uh, love that. So anyway, um, I colored her up with my colored pencils like I mentioned and Yeah, she turned out really cute And then I added some glitter gel pen markings just around on the camera on her hair just to add an extra little glitter um, I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but it's there and then I added this my favorite fishnet ribbon that I picked up at Michaels this summer It was part of the nevermore collection and then I made a cluster of flowers here. I added, so basically, um, these were white flowers that I dyed using the Distress Stain. I had, um, I think it's Seedless Preserves Distress Stain, and I just colored the flowers with that. And then I went over it with the Distressed Mica sprays in, um, I think it's called Fortune Teller. And I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on camera, but it adds this really pretty shimmer. It's kind of rubbed off now, but it added a really nice shimmer to the flowers, but it's it's different in person. You can definitely catch glimpses of it. So then I added some purple gems inside on top of the flowers, like tucked in. I hope you can see that okay. I have these mauve leaves, and the colors really work nicely together with the colors of my collection. So I added two leaves here. This one's like flocked, it's really soft. 
and then um, I took a wood veneer bat but I also added some black glitter on top of the bat I hope there you go you can see it like that so that's a little cluster here and then I added just some of these gray black this is more of a gunmetal gray embellishments uh, jemmies so that's the front now let's start taking stuff out so this is a journaling card from the collection that I just backed on paper this is a Beetlejuice playing card I love the scene in the movie so um, really fun playing card for them I also included a little goodie bag of paper clips I'm probably gonna add a little bit more goodies into this um, prize pack but for now I just wanted to uh, show you what I have I didn't want to give too much away I want to leave it uh, as a surprise for whoever wins this so that's in the first pocket and then back here I created this wand I'm not the best but I think it turned out okay <laughs> um, uh, it's so fun. So this is a ephemera piece from the collection and then I just added a word sticker from the collection, a couple of spooksters. I backed it on um, cardstock. I added this black literary bat die cut and then I added a rhinestone on top of that bat in the center. For the wand itself, I used a black and white striped straw, of course. I made this little bow with some purple tulle, and I added this skull here. And actually, before I added that skull here, it fell on my hand. I have a nice blister on my hand of the same shape of the skull. So I'm not gonna, hopefully you can see it in the video, but I'm trying to hide it. But anyway, just to let you know, I have a blister of that size on my hand because it fell it flipped over and fell on my hand instead of going directly on the bow but it's okay <laughs> i'm healing <laughs> anyway so i added like just a bunch of different trims that i had in my stash so there's some sparkly trim some eyelash trim um black and white stripe um twine just i love this purpley tinsel one i like the different colors of purple i think it looks really nice i like that some of the ribbons are longer and some of them are shorter it just adds some dimension and interest to the wand and i think it turned out really cute in the back i just added this little ephemera piece to kind of hide the glue and all that stuff in the back so this is what the first wand looks like really pretty so that's the first wand that i made and then i have included oh everything's coming out <laughs> this um skeleton guy so i have a few of these in my sash i just wanted to share them i think it looked really cute and tucked in and it goes well with um it has like an oil slick finish on it but it has purple in this and it goes well and it makes me think of beetlejuice because it's green and purple so it's so here i have another journaling card from the collection and i just backed it on um some cardstock as well so i made this card using uh, scraps from the collection i'm not sure how I'll use it just yet. Right now I just have um, this other journaling card from the collection. Uh, I might write a little note in there or I might make it into a pocket and add more goodies. I'm not sure, but I just um, made this card for the project. I think it turned out really cute, very simple. I just layered a scrap of paper on top of this jumbo journaling card that I um, printed bigger. And then I added some of the same washi that I added on the um, bag flip. I think it looks really cute. I think I may just leave it blank as well because then the recipient can use it as a card or as a journaling card in their October daily or uh, at photos. So I'm just going to keep it blank maybe. Anyway, what else is in here? Oh, we have another journaling card. This one's Lydia. Oh my God, what a beautiful Blue Jay. Hi, Blue Jay. Hi. Wow, what does that mean? <laughs> so um, I have my window, my curtains up and a blue jay just flew onto my uh, clothesline and just was looking and I'm sure you heard it. Um, I don't, I think it's a blue jay. I have no idea. It was pretty big. I think it's a blue jay. I'm gonna have to Google what a blue jay looks like after this. I'm pretty sure it's a blue jay, but oh my gosh. I don't see those birds often and the fact that it just stopped here I'm all woo-woo and stuff. I'm gonna have to look it up and see what the significance of that means. But that's pretty cool. Thank you for visiting, Blue Jay. <laughs> Let's get back to this. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, what was I saying? So, I included a pack of these really pretty different colored stars and I thought it went well with the overall theme and also this guy, the colors match. So, it all looks really nice together. And um, so I decided to share this for my stash. They're just really pretty um, star epoxy 
enamel dots? I don't know. <laughs> They're just really cute. So a whole pack of that for the winner. And so this is an ephemera piece from the collection. I just backed it on cardstock. I added this little glittery bat. This is a Tim Holtz bat die cut. A black and white striped bow and then added purple sequin trim and then more of this tinselly trim and then black and white stripe um, twine. And I added it to a small black and white stripe paper straw that I had in my stash and then the back to hide the glue I just added this um, embellishment piece from the collection as well. So that is my second little mini wand. I think it's really cute. So the bag that I actually used is black and it has silver stripes on it. So you can see in the background, this is the bag that I used. So these are simple to make. I just glued the flap down. I trimmed the bag because it was a little bit bigger. I trimmed it to the size I wanted. And then uh, that way you have a pocket here and a pocket inside the bag. And I already went over the front, but this is what it looks like without all the goodies in there. I added two types of washi tape here just to give it some extra interest. And this skull washi tape is um, also iridescent, so it goes with the colors of the goodies that I've included. Now flip it on the back. This is just more of a decorative element here. So I took this pattern paper, um, put it on the background. I just matted this journaling card on some light purple cardstock and then glued that to the back. And then to embellish it, I added some of the same washi tapes that I used. I added this embellishment here from the collection. In the collection, I have a pattern paper of Polaroid ghosts and they're so fun and easy to cut out. So I used a scrap of paper and cut out these little Polaroids and just layered some um, on the back here. And then to finish it off, I added some uh, glittery bats. These are die cuts from Tim Holtz as well. So this is what the back looks like. And this is the front. Ideally, you can, um, when you take all the goodies from here, you can display it in your craft room. You can put it in, you can make a hole and put it in your October daily, or you can just, you know, fill it up with goodies and have it in your craft room. You can do whatever you like with it, but I just think it's so cute. It turned out great. I love the colors. Oh, it's just so perfect. So that is the bag flip. Let me put everything back in and I'll be right back. So I hope you enjoyed watching my little project share of my completed loaded bike flip. I really had a lot of fun putting this together. I think it turned out really cute. I love the monochromatic color scheme that I went with. My collection was perfect for this. So again, if you're interested in checking out my Beetlewing collection, which is a mix of Halloween and Beetlejuice together, my shop will be linked below and I uh, hope you guys can check it out. But if you want a chance to win it, don't forget to leave a comment below in this video and make sure you're subscribed. And again, if you want to win this project go over on my Instagram find the post and submit your entry that way and of course my Instagram will be linked in the description as well thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed my project if you have any questions or just want to say hi leave a comment down below but also join the giveaway because why not <laughs> I hope you enjoy Beetlejuice Beetlejuice if you are going to go watch it I'm super excited I don't really have any expectations except that it's gonna be so exciting and I'm gonna cry <laughs> um, I only watched the first teaser trailer. I didn't watch the second completed trailer that came out because I didn't want to be spoiled. And even the pop-up trailers that I see in YouTube commercials, I kind of like cover my eyes or don't look at it because I don't want to be spoiled. I really want to go into it without any expectations of the storyline or what is going to go on. I mean, I know part of what happens, you know, but um, for the majority of it, I don't know. And I'm excited about that. I don't want to be spoiled. So I'm really happy and I'm really looking forward to this. I just, I can't believe it. And I'm sure so many of you spooksters out there are feeling the same way as me. I'm just over the moon. I'm just so excited. I just can't believe this is actually happening after 36 years. How amazing is that? So never give up on your dreams, guys. You never know. Things can happen. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you again for being here. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.